It's uh, Friday morning, getting started with milking here. I don't have any milk in the house, but always have a solution to that problem. Well, good thing is I got milk for my coffee. Bad thing is I just use up all our profits out of this milk tank. Oh well. Soon done milking here. Just gotta get the uh, special needs cows over yet. I'm on, girl. All right, big girl. Sunrise gets me every morning. Done with the milking. Uh, I'm down here at the heifers now. It's amazing how much the weather can change. Uh, by Wednesday, we had uh, just sweatshirt weather. Um, and then yesterday, we had a bunch of rain. Was able to scrape up down here, get this cleaned up, which was nice. So the hoof trimmer is coming today. He's actually here now. Uh, he comes once a month and we'll trim some of our cows. We trim each cow once a year about and uh, and also trim just any that have sore feet or anything. So it's kind of taken off a little bit. What, uh, what do you do? Like you do every day? Spiel, yeah, different stuff we do. It's how, a, how long a clip do you put on? Like, I mean, I 10 minutes or? Each video is like 10 minutes about, but, okay. yep. <laughs> Which one? You don't do that one. Yeah, that's a, uh, I, I, I have a slower side here, you know. I don't like that one. Okay. Alright. Um, we get these two, that's about... Girl. If a cow's feet aren't feeling good, uh, she won't be happy and she won't do well. So we want to make sure we keep after it and uh, just yeah, just take good care of the feet. Much better. I'll let him work. I'm gonna go in for breakfast. Um, I don't think the cows love going in that thing just because they're not used to it, but it doesn't hurt them. Um, and it's, it's definitely for their own good. Six 
have any corn fodder this year uh, we didn't shell any corn uh, we tried to we uh, decided to try bailing up some bean stubble and that actually worked pretty good we made 30 bales of that and it's pretty decent bedding probably do that again next year They're happy. So it's lunchtime. Uh, I'm on my way to pick up a part for the 7250 Magnum. Back at the farm now. Uh, I'm in the shop here. This tractor, uh, when we were finishing up hauling this year, um, it just kept beeping at us and telling us that it was overheating. And we knew for a fact it wasn't. And I was talking to our mechanic and he was, he was saying that this is the uh, coolant temperature sensor right there. He said change that, that'll probably fix the problem. So I got another one of them. Got the new sensor on. Getting towards the back of the first bunk here. Uh, this is some of the nicer silage we've ever fed. Really liking it. Just gonna mix feed yet, and that'll be it. 